Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, hi my name is Melissa or Missa, I'm a 32 year old beauty ho from Scotland. Welcome, today we're sponsored by my beloved Black and Green Monster, we're not actually sponsored by them but maybe one day. Anyway today as you can see with the title, we got some new palettes and new lip stuff but we're only actually playing with one of the palettes today because I feel like mm, a lot of people would just buy one palette and not both so I'm gonna do two separate videos on them so today we're gonna focus on one. So this is of course the Odin's Eye Times Angelica Halloween Collection. There's two palettes and there is five lip products. There was also like in the PR package like fluffy toy keychain things but the cats have stolen them as their toys. And you can probably hear the cats in the background going nuts on their cat tree but anyway today we're going to focus on the little ghost palette which looks like this the packaging is absolutely gorgeous isn't it but i will show you the trick-or-treat palette as well but like i said i will do another video on this probably my very next video that you'll see and i will swatch it in that video but i have to swatch this color for you because it's li i don't even know what to say <laughs> like i'm obsessed but these aren't traditionally Missa colours, which is why I went for the other palette first today, but look, that green is obnoxious. It's outrageous. like when I swatched it, I had to send a picture to Angelica on Instagram, like, what the hell have you done? Look at this. But today our focus will be on this stunning palette, which is far more Melissa kind of colour. So as always, I'm going to swatch the whole thing on my arm, then we're going to jump into doing this look here, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on the palette at the end of the video. So. If you want to just fanny about with me. I feel like I haven't done a sit down palette review video in a while and I'm just excited to get into it. I'm going to move you around here. I have a bracelet that I actually can't take off so that might a little bit get in the way but just ignore it. I'm just going to go through them. Some of them had really pretty like bat imprints and like pumpkin imprints and skull imprints but I've played with this a lot today so all of that is gone. I actually can't read half of the shade names because it's hard to read on the palette so we're just going to swatch it roll by roll this is the first one as you can tell i didn't actually use this today this is like a neon kind of pastel so it's quite chunky when i swatch it but also i'm a very hard swatcher people will complain and be like why are you swatching it so many times because i want to and i find joy in it i don't even need to swatch that again that's sick i have used that today yeah you're not gonna get gentle swatches on this channel and i build them up because you're gonna build them up on your eye you know what i mean you're gonna build them up to get the pigment so oh that's gorgeous did i use that today no absolutely did not i did use this oh my lord odin's eye i slept on for way too long like the quality the cat is using my chair it's a scratching post then we have like a pale i just spoke into those shadows on my arm and moved them like a pale lavender which i got a bit of the dark purple in i do apologize it's a pale lavender and we have another shimmer odin's eye really know how to do shimmery shadows they really know how to do mattes but their shimmers are like just real special i'm never gonna fit this all on one arm this one looks like a pink in the pan but when you swatch it it's like a topper i'm wearing it actually up the center of my eyes today it's like a real sparkle topper shade and we have this stunning blue which I actually have used but not in this look strangely enough but I used it a lot today getting to this look and it's really lovely. Then we have a gorgeous brow bone colour. Oh I'm putting that into the blue. You can't really see it but it is very shimmery and it's on where am I? My brow bone. Oh and I used it as a highlight today as well. Then we got a pastel blue. You can give us more than that, hun. Come on. There we go. There's a bit better. <laughs> the main colour up the centre of my eyes. How could I not? This stunning weird blue. I say weird blue because it's just a bit of a weird blue, but it's very, very beautiful. I used that a lot today as well. I'm not going to fit all these on, am I? This colour is really interesting because in the pan, I think it's hideous. I don't like orange, if you're wondering. I only use orange in my like sunset looks. But it's like orange pink. Don't be offended that I said it's hideous. It's just, it's not my kind of colour. But you see when you swatch it, it's a lot more interesting. It's kind of like a bright candy pink with like a green shift to it. And then we have an orange. 
very pigmented, very beautiful. This colour will probably never go on my face. And I'm swatching it on my elbow, I'm sorry. It's not my kind of colour, but it's a Halloween palette so I can see why it's in there. This is like a real aubergine red. Okay, there we go, that is the entire palette swatched. The shimmers in the middle are stunning, especially that like toppery shade here. This dark purple is what dreams are made of. I didn't use any black on my eyes today and if you know me, you know I like black eyeshadow. The blues are stunning. That yellow is insane. It's like a neon chartreuse almost. It's gorgeous. Don't like the shimmery orange, but that's just me, personal preference. The last three down here aren't really my cup of tea, plus this one, but I can see why they're in there for, like, for a Halloween themed palette. So I can see the point. It's just not my cup of tea. But as you can see by my eyes, that's the kind of colours I'm drawn to, all the kind of middle ones. So. Yeah, that's the palette swatch. If you've never tried Odin's Eye, they are spectacularly pigmented, blendable. I've honestly never had a complaint about my Odin's Eyes that I've had. In my experience with Odin's Eye, I've got like five or six or seven palettes by them now. I've got quite a few. They are always fantastic. Uh, like, I would put them up there with Blend Bunny, Beauty Bay, Be Perfect. Why do they all begin with B? Cosmic brushes, like that kind of quality, that is what Odin's Eye is. Maybe even better than some of those brands that I've mentioned. They are just amazing. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a shower after this. Oh, my palette looks even more messed up now, but all my palettes look like that in my collection. So yeah, that is the swatches. Now we're gonna jump into me doing this eye, look here on my eyes and then we will discuss what I think of the palette at the end. I'm pretty sure you're already getting a good gist of how I feel. But anyway, let's jump into actually putting it on. I've actually already primed with P. Louise, whatever this is, shade wise, I don't know, Rumor 05. I was, I had it out because I was doing a cut crease which I scrapped and I just thought I would use up what I had squirted out. Yeah, so we're taking the ghost, no, little ghost palette. Again, I just love the packaging. It's just so beautiful. Usually I hate Halloween packaging on things, but this I just think is gorgeous and semi-reflective of what's in there because, I mean, there's no real greens in here, but you know what I mean? It's quite reflective. Sorry, potatoes started showing me the second I start filming. So I'm going in with the shade Licorice, which is up here. And I saw this look on Instagram. I will obviously tag who I saw it from. I'll put the name on screen. And I had tried like seven or eight different makeup looks before this and I just wasn't getting something that I enjoyed. So I scrapped it and then looked on Instagram for a bit to see just for some inspo. And this is what, this is what's come. I'm hoping that with my base on, I'll like it because right now I don't like this look but that's okay these things happen um and then I'm gonna take the shade two over called little ghost this purple one another purple one I think this is the wrong brush but we're gonna go with it these purple tones are stunning they're the kind of purples I really like and I will use purple most given opportunities purples and blues. Anyway, this isn't really about the look, it's more about the quality, well, how the shadows perform. No issues. <laughs> I was personally very late to the Odin's Eye party, just because I was very late to all indie brands in general, to be honest, and I was missing out my entire life. I'm gonna then go in with the shade Haunted down here. Purples into blues are a dream. But if you like beauty base shadows, if you like Blend Bunny, if you like Be Perfect, if you like P. Louise, you're gonna like Odin's Eye and I would say a lot of Odin's Eye shadows actually are better than all of those brands that I just named, which are some of my favourite brands. Um, but Odin's Eye just seem to, I don't understand, their quality is just phenomenal. Their shimmers are really kind of where they stand out but their mattes are fantastic. I feel so proud of myself. Like fitting in the time to film with this before it actually launches. I feel like I'm really getting back to like old Melissa. You know what I mean? Like I'm actually 
achieving something. Then I'm going in with a shade Ghoulish. Ghosts and Ghouls. I am not a big Halloween person. Literally don't really care for it to be honest. So usually I don't like Halloween palettes because they're all orange and green and I like, I like these because they are not giving me those colours. Although maybe the other palette is more traditional Halloween. You'll see it. Back in with some of that purple. And then I'm going to go back in and do my outer corner. So back in with that licorice shade. This colour purple just has my heart and soul. It always does. In every palette I find this kind of purple. I always love it. Very warm. Like a red pink undertone purple than like a blue but it blends into the cool tones so well. I'm never gonna be able to match these up because my eyes are so <laughs> not. What's the word? Symmetrical. I have no brain cells. I've been working extra, I worked an extra day at work and we're at a very like heavy invoicing stage at work right now and my brain just doesn't work so sorry if I'm not making sense. More of that stunning much more, is it a more cool toned purple? I suppose in a way but again it blends with this one really really well. I'm not really worrying about this inner blend because I don't have to although I will fill that wee crease in because that will annoy me. I played with the oranges and the yellow and stuff in here but I felt like it gave me too much of like a sunset -y look so I, that's why I wiped it off because I thought oh, I'll never get away with that. I'll never get away with that. Uh, back in with Haunted, but I will say they all worked so beautifully as well. Yellow is very pigmented. It actually kind of overtook the whole look, which is fine. Like I would rather have that and then just re-add my darker colours. I also put my brow on over here just to try and see if I liked where this look was going. So if you think I look really weird and off balance, that's why that brow's on, this one isn't. The way these all blend together is just literal perfection. I'm just kind of patting this on just to get the maximum pigment. Then I'm gonna go back in with that previous purple and just blend into it and holy crap, it does it so well. It's the kind of mattes where you don't have to put in a lot of effort you don't have to spend ages. They just work. And then I'm going in with that light blue. Tito's honey. What was that shout about? He always wakes up just as I'm about to start filming. Maybe it's because I get up and give him T-R-E-A-T-I-E-S to make him settle down and like leave me alone for me to film. Again, I'm just patting this on. I'm not actually sure if I put primer out here or not. So I don't know if it's actually gonna stick. Right, and I'm gonna focus more on my blend and just try and make it look not harsh. But realistically, again, it doesn't take a lot of effort. It's not like some other palettes where you have to really pack on your mattes to make them stand out. Like these are so pigmented. And then I'm gonna take the shade creepy just i mean how could i not and i'm gonna press it on with my finger i find 99 percent of shimmers work better with your finger so i always like to start off with my finger if i can i'm trying not to get it too messy. i need to get my angle right this is such a gorgeous shade just on its own i felt like it wasn't like gonna stand out enough so i do go over it with another color and do i add a cheeky little bit of glitter at the end yes but like isn't that stunning and then i'm gonna go back in with haunted i've just lost my brush where the front is my brush i found it i was looking right at it whole time bit of that weird blue i want to call it because it is quite a weird tone but it, I mean a beautiful weird tone just to blend it ever so slightly and then the other shade I went on top of of with of bleh, was boo which in the pan looks pink so I was avoiding it but look at it when you swatch it it's like pink blue purple shift and it doesn't really show up pink when you press it on it's kind of like a toppery shade in the pan it looks like a full-on pigment pink but when you actually touch it it's like just a blast of shimmer and stunningness, you know? Oh, come out. Yeah, just very much like a gentle, shimmery, stunning topper. Like you could put it over a pink eyeshadow or you could put it over blue and it just gives you something special. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It really is. I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of my under eye while I'm here. Um, I just did it on the other side just because Again, I was really unsure if I liked this look and where it was going. Look how this dark purple, the first one we used, just packs on. Utterly outrageous. The lighter purple. I try to think like what other colours I could bring in, but I don't think I actually could bring any more colours into this 
today. But life is our oyster. We can play with these palettes again. With that shimmery blue down here. And then that pink shifty one. Wasn't even on screen, was I? This pink shifty one on top. Then I took. Where is my brush? This pale one called Cobweb. I put this in here up at my brow. I actually did it on the other side once my brow was on, so I'll probably have to re-put it on. So I'll cover up a lot of this with my brow, but I just wanted that punch of brightness there. Right, I need to go through on my eyeliner and I'm gonna throw on a tiny bit, don't yell at me, of Capella from Pastel Roses, just for a little sensation of glitter. I'm using a little bit of NYX glitter glue. I just want a little bit of chunkiness up the lid. And you've seen it without it, but I just want that oh, for a bit sun. Don't yell at me. Actually yell at me if you want my channel, but I'm still gonna do it. Anyway, I'm gonna throw on my liner, which is just my Juvia's Place one. I think it just balances out my eyes to put on a little bit of a chunky black wing not a wing black liner even this is such a quick look this is only taking me 15 minutes to film so far but then what i did because that's very black and there's no black in the palette that is a moan from me let's be honest i went back in with that first shade and just pressed it over that black so that the look is more purple but i still kind of have that that line there giving me a little bit more balance to my eye shape. Okay, I'm gonna clean up, put my base on and my waterliner and stuff, and then we'll come back and we'll discuss the palette. I mean, 16 minutes, that's all. And I do need to clean up and just kind of tidy up my blending out here, but I'm hoping with my base on this will look cute. I will be back. All my makeup is finished. Please don't look at my fringe. I cut it too short because I was raising my eyebrows when I was cutting it, and now it's like too short and it's also really lopsided, but my fringe grows very, very fast. So very soon that will be gone. My lips, if you're wondering, are Melt Skin Tight Lip Liner with Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer on top, obviously. There are the lip products that came in the collection. I'm gonna swatch them now because I don't think I'm actually going to use these on my lips because the colors aren't really my kind of thing, but I'll swatch them anyway if you're curious. So this is Radioactive. It's a gloss. It's quite nice, it's quite like melt golden, but in a gloss color. So maybe, oh no, I'll probably keep that one actually. I'm gonna keep that one. Then we have Matte Swamp Frog is the name. Matte is the formula. These feel like the Kaleidos moussey kind of texture. Not really my favorite texture from a liquid lip, but that is that one. And uh, then we have Spectral, which is the shine. So that's kind of more like a lacquer. It's a bit more pigmented than the gloss, but also very, very shiny. I don't really like browns on me at all. Then we have Shadow Creature, which is also a matte, more like a red toned. I just don't like the moussey texture that much. Then we have Quicksand, which is a shine formula. So again, kind of like, more like a lacquer, I suppose. Although it doesn't seem as pigmented as that one up there. I'm getting my pigment on the sides, but not in the middle. There we go, built up a bit more. What is all that on my arm? Yeah, that is the five lipsticks. I'm gonna keep that one, because actually I think over Melt Golden, that's gonna look stunning, but the rest I'm not a huge fan of, but, but, Someone that I know will enjoy those. Okay, coming back to the palette. If you love Odin's Eye, or if you love Angelica, or if you love the colour story that this gives, absolutely get this palette. It is wonderful. It's probably... I'm going to give it 9 out of 10, only because the bottom row doesn't excite me. It doesn't tickle my pickle. But if I take personal preference and colours out, I'd have to give it 10 out of 10 because it is absolutely wonderful quality-wise. So... If you really feel like you need this in your collection, definitely get it. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. I don't know about the lip stuff. Again, I'm just not into like mousses and browns. So that's again, more of a personal preference. And it's made me very excited to play with this. I am not sure what look I'm gonna do with it, but I know it's gonna have to include this green because this green, I don't even, I cannot describe how neon and stunning it is. Like, I need to smoosh it all over my eyelids, but I can't right now because I have to do an intro and outro to another video as well. But anyway, can't wait to use this. Hopefully this will be the very next video on my channel and hopefully tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, that is the new Odin's Eye 
I'm just gonna say Little Ghost Palette because obviously I didn't review the other one. Love it so much. Very happy to have more Odin's Eye in my collection. Like my blushes that I use today are Odin's Eye, my eyeliners that I use are Odin's Eye. The brand is just really, really good. It's not cheap and it's not that easy to get in the UK, but in my opinion, if you love eyeshadow, you're gonna love it. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. It's already 20 to 5-ish and I've not eaten. So I'm gonna piss off and eat some breakfast, lunch and dinner. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be real nice. Especially if you want to see me play with the other palette. Give the video a thumbs up if you thought it was okay. Uh, leave me a comment down below, please. I love looking through all the comments. And if you want to become a patron and watch my Friday lives, some extra bonus patron only videos, join our Telegram chat, our Facebook group, then the link is down below. It's a really fun time. And I'm going to piss off and eat something because I'm starving. Okay, bye. <gasps> a wild potato. Doing all right? Okay, a small interruption to the end of this video. I've genuinely spent all of Saturday and all of Sunday trying to film with the second palette. This is what it looks like. I showed you it in the beginning. This is the innards of the palette. My eye is like swollen. No makeup will stick to this side of it. It's stained. It's painful. I literally cannot keep trying. It's already like half two. I've been sitting here since like nine putting look after look on and I'm just not getting it anywhere. I don't like this palette, not for the quality but for the colour story. I have I was trying so hard not to combine it with something else so that it had its own day but it's just not being successful for me. I'm going to swatch it for you just so you see my life swatches if you're interested in them and then I'm going to declutter this to someone that I know will really like the colour story but they're, they, the shades themselves are gorgeous. There's some really stunning shades in here but as a palette I really don't like the colour story. It doesn't excite me and I'm not finding any looks from it that I even vaguely like. So I promise I've tried really hard and I'm annoyed at myself, but I am actually just going to give up because I would like to enjoy some of my Sunday. So I'm going to swatch it and add it on to the end of the main video. And I hope that's okay. I know it's it's not the best, but it's what I can give. So we'll do a wee little bit more of a zoom in. I will just swatch as normal down my arm with nothing on it. I can't wait to just shower and try and get rid of some of this staining. And yeah, it's just one of those things. Sometimes you just don't like a palette's colour story, but there's nothing wrong with the actual shadows. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and swatch it so we at least see what it all looks like swatched if you're interested. A really lovely light kind of lemony shimmery gold. This colour I do really like. A lovely kind of mustardy greeny yellow. We have another gold. This time it's far more golden. I am really annoyed at myself. I really wanted to have a video out on both palettes but I literally cannot put my eye through any more of this trauma because it hurts so bad. <laughs> then we have like a pale biscuity colour. Actually stands out quite well on my arm. Then, uh, then an orange. Oh, I almost swatched over that. Trying to make sure and leave room for the whole palette this time. I do really like this copper, but I, I just didn't know. I should have taken pictures of every look I tried to do just so you could laugh at me. A red. This is honestly no shade to Anielica. It's no shade to Odin's eye. It's just not the kind of colour story I'm drawn to, so I'm obviously struggling with it. This colour is life-changing. I think I swatched it in my previous video. It's absolutely stunning. It actually feels really wet to the touch. And I tried to make that the focus of my look and it just wasn't happening. Like a shimmery red, that colour. This colour is also incredibly beautiful. This colour is literally life-changing. Like, it's, it's insane. A lovely kind of khaki green. Like I said, I really like individual shades. I'm just not coming up with like a cohesive look from the palette. <laughs> and very pretty kind of silvery green sparkle. 
So that is the second palette swatch and I think if you know me at all, you know that's not my kind of colour story. To me it's quite a Christmassy kind of theme. Definitely works for Halloween too but I also feel like really works well for Christmas. Like look at this shimmer, the shine on that. This green is like thick and chunky and wet feeling and incredible. This colour is phenomenal. The golds are really pretty. They all swatch really well. They're all very pigmented and honestly they all blend very beautifully on the eye as well. It's just again not my kind of colour story so I'm just going to declutter it to someone that I know will adore it. But yeah, that is the swatches of the second part. Am I actually recording? I am. Just so you can see the swatches, my swatches of it. If you're interested, that is them. Yeah. Once again, I'm very disappointed in myself, but these things happen. Not every palette is for everyone's taste, but in terms of quality and stuff, it's not going to let you down if you are after this palette. So yeah, that is my take on the trick or treat palette. Now I'm gonna go. Bye.